They were working together to draw cards against evil. Yeah. That's... You like some kind of fellowship. The truth. <laughs> <laughs> Sauron would say it just like that. Too. Hey guys, it's me, Sauron. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. Right. Still in puberty. <laughs> you like my eye. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by Moxfield. Moxfield is our favorite way to play test new cards and is the best way to brew. You can go to moxfield.com to see all the decks featured in today's episode. Today's gameplay episode is sponsored by TCG Player, your trusted source for trading card games in the USA. TCG Player sets the standard for all prices in the trading card game community, allowing you to look up what any card is currently selling for so you know exactly what your collection is worth. Market price data is used in stores and communities all around the world, so you never have to wonder if you're getting the right price when buying, selling, or trading cards. You can check out their mobile app to scan, shop, or sell. Be sure to check out TCG Player to pick up the latest cards from Magic the Gathering's Lord of the Rings set and have them ready for your next Commander Night. Or you can pick up all four of the pre-cons featured in today's episode. Sleeve them up right out of the box and play them with your friends. There's so many to choose from and the flavor is perfect. I'm sure you'll have a blast with whichever one you pick. Thanks again, TCG Player. Now let's get into the episode. Welcome to Scry Babies, I'm Louis Stardust. I'm Tori of the Best. And today we're playing Lord of the Rings Precons with Steve and Ian. Hey! <laughs> Could you be more excited <laughs> to be here? No. <laughs> um, I'm gonna let you introduce yourself and what decks you are playing, and we'll just kind of go around the table. All right, today I'm playing Aragorn, King of Gondor. It's a Jeskai Humans deck that, all, that deals with the monarch. So I'm just trying to become king, stay king, and make it so no creatures can block. <laughs> um, so I see you went with that instead of Eowyn, though. So yeah, yeah, just better choice for you. Yeah, I, I like it. I um, the the other commander I think just makes two twos. I just kind of want to draw cards. That's like my favorite thing to do. Okay, cool. Yes. Hey everybody, I'm Ian from the YouTube channel Comedian MTG. Uh, you can normally find me doing CEDH content, but I'm here playing some Lord of the Rings today. I, as soon as I heard Scrybabies was doing an episode of Lord of the Rings, the limited pre-cons, I was so excited to be here. So uh, I'm going to be playing the Dark Armies of Sauron, Lord of the Rings himself. Uh, I'm so excited to reprise my role of playing the villain, as I often do in, in a lot of gameplay series. Uh, it's, it's awesome. It, this deck is insane. Uh, you literally cast Sauron for the first time, and even if somehow you don't, have a creature in your graveyard, it still makes 14 power for eight mana, so that's like pretty pretty stoked about that. Um, I'm gonna be playing Sam and Frodo. I really love this deck. I'm really big into the food token stuff. I have another deck that I have another deck that does food token stuff, and I was really excited about this when I heard about it. So I think it's gonna be really cool. Um, I'm really interested in the Tempted by the Ring stuff. And yeah, let's make lots of food. Playing Galadriel, the Elven Queen, um, taking the Hobbits to Isengard. God, 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 God. This one has Will of the Council, so it requires a lot of voting for Dominion or Guidance. So Galadriel said, get to those polls. Uh, I'm hoping to cast a bunch of elves and make everybody go against each other to see what they're going to give me. But I get two votes, right, because I'm king. Mm, that's true. That's how yeah, all the democracies work is yes. that the king gets a second vote. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. It's written in the rules. It's the, rules. the king rules. Yeah, the king rules. So we got a contract. I'm going to steal your vote. I have an advantage. Oh, oh. oh um, we love Survivor. Mm, okay. <laughs> we'll play with Jeff Probst today. <laughs> that's the ultimate guest that we have on the show, is Jeff. Yeah. When, when is Secret Lair Survivor coming out? Oh, no. <laughs> All right, well, Ian, you did win the die roll, I did. right? All right, so yes, you're gonna take us off. Draw a card from a turn, cause multiplayer. Wowie wow. Um, I'm gonna start with a basic island, and because I'm starting out as the bad guy. Soul ring. Uh, I'm gonna start with the soul ring. Yep. Wah. Tap it again, and then you be the real bad I'm guy. I'm gonna tap it again, because I've been instructed to do so, except for I don't listen to hobbits. <laughs> Pass the turn. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to put out this command tower. Ooh. And it's a really pretty new command tower. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited about them. And then I'm going to pass. I'll draw like a forest and pass turn. Yeah. I'll draw. It's pre-cons. You don't do something on your turn one. I don't know. If it's villain, you do. All right, let's because see. I'm <laughs> the good guy, I will be playing Terramorphic uh, Expanse. 
my nice budget fetch land. And I'm just gonna crack it now because, I don't know, I, I just want to. I'm gonna go and get an island and then I'm going to pass the turn. Wowie. Fetch land at home. I've never yeah. I've never heard someone have more disdain for a terramorphic expanse than right then. Yeah, it's not even evolving wilds. <laughs> I'm gonna draw for my turn. What does this card do? I don't know. Shuffle cool. So uh, I'm gonna play a mountain as my land for turn, and then I'm gonna play a card that I just read for the first time, Fiery Inscription. Oh. Uh, it says, when it enters, the ring tempts me. Fun fact, uh, the ring does not actually need a creature for a temptation to happen. So I will have the first layer of ring tempting going on. Um, and then it says, whenever I cast an instant or sorcery, uh, it deals two damage to each opponent. Look. Pretty cool, this deck has a few of those. Mm -hmm. Not like a ton, but that's, that's us, we're the opponents. Yeah, that's why I said no, <laughs> as soon as he said it, yeah. And it's not, it's three mana. Yeah. Good. I'm going to uh, pass the turn, Sans Ring Bearer. Cool. I'm gonna draw a card. This is great, I love what I drew. I'm gonna play land, and pass the turn. I'm gonna play a forest. And what do I do here? I'm gonna tap two to play a paradise druid. Ooh. Yeah. Hexproof as long as it's untapped. Oh Tap it to add that one mana of any color and I'll pass the turn. I'd, I'd rather play, play that than ramp into Nissa. Five mana Nissa with that card. Yeah, that you're was not wrong. an unfun <laughs> game. I will play a plane. Yes. And then I will play Fog Vessel. I have no maximum hand size. Oh, that's um, really nice. For and it, it taps for a mana, but I'll, I'll pass the turn. All right. Then tap. Then draw a card. See, the one downside about this deck is they'd love you to have mana, but it's also like six and eight drops <laughs> just like out the wazoo. Um, I'm gonna play a land, and I literally can't cast anything, so I'm gonna pass the turn. <laughs> okay. You know what? The same thing we've been saying about the lands. I've been just drawing so many of them. It's to crack your foods. Yes, it is. <laughs> We're gonna play a forest, mm. and then I'm gonna tap three to put out a Savvy Hunter. Ooh. It's a 3-3, three, three, and whenever it attacks or blocks, I create a food token. So I'm just gonna leave that there and then pass the turn. Cool. Right. I also can sack two food in a raw card. I can do that. Cool. I can do that. You didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tap two, play an arcane signet. That's Whoa. why I had that in front of that card. Um, okay. Tap two, play my arcane signet. I'm gonna tap the signet, mm -hmm. tap the paradise druid to play a woe's pathfinder to play another mana door. Whoa! What's the, uh, what's the other thing it does? <laughs> Storm count two. <laughs> I can play six and the forest, tap it, and another target creature gets plus three, plus three, and gains trample until end mm. of the turn. I love mono three. Go. Whoa, 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 one sec, I'm thinking about this pathfinder whoa. here. Oh, are you gonna kill my pathfinder? I just kind of want to actually draw cards. So I might use a spell just to do that. <laughs> That is evil. That is kind of my job. It's really sexist to kill her. <laughs> you know what? Now you you back me into yeah. a corner. I'm gonna pass. Get it. Steve. <laughs> it's okay. I'll get Steve. You just wants to time walk me from casting my commander. No. All right, I'll draw for turn. That would be I'll evil. Not, I will not play into that though. So I'm just gonna... <laughs> I will cast a harsh mentor. Uh, whenever an opponent activates an ability of an artifact, creature, or land on the battlefield, if it isn't a mana ability, oh, okay. <laughs> it deals two damage to that player. Oh, okay. Oh, I like okay. that. Okay. Cool. And then... Good, good. Can I, can I get some, some hand counts? I, mean, I, got, I got Cinco. Six. Five. Right. Jessica right. as well. Everybody has Jessica as well. Jessica right, as well. So, <laughs> for blue and white. Yep. <laughs> Uh, sunset Revelry. Ooh, what's that? Um, if an opponent has more life than me, I gain four life. We're all even, I believe. So yes. that's, I don't care about that part. Um, Tori controls more creatures than me, so I'm gonna make two 1-1 one, one humans. No. Uh, and everyone has more cards in hand than me, so I'm gonna draw a card. Wait, 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 so for two mana, you're gonna make two dudes and draw a card? Yeah, this is like, 
Yeah, yeah. If if it resolves. Yeah, I mean, you know what? If We're it gonna, resolves, you're gonna draw two cards instead. I'm an arcane. Oh, dial sick. That. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Uh, but I do have a fiery inscription trigger, meaning everyone's gonna lose two life except for me. Woo! Cool. Bum, 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 bum. I literally am only casting this to draw cards. <laughs> My hand. I'm stoked about it. Yeah. I'd rather draw two cards instead <laughs> yeah. of just make a dude. This. Yeah. <laughs> um. That's so cool how you both are doing that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't cast my commander. Um, all right, I'll pass the turn to you. All right, cool. And my upkeep, we both draw. You draw I, two, I draw one. I draw two. Ooh, glad I didn't draw that as my draw for turn. Oh, sorry, I tap first. Your yeah. eyes just told a story there. <laughs> You're just like, your pupils were like. I give nothing away. You said I drew a land. No free info. Yeah, no free info. Free info, Steve. <laughs> free info, Steve. That's so helpful. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Now you would think with six mana, I would be able to cast a spell. <laughs> um, Commander? No. Oh, I guess I can do this. I think honestly, I might just pass again. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Mana's a little awkward. I'm going to... Dance like I'm just watching. <laughs> Play this rogue's passage. It's a new one, it's a little hole in hole. So cute. Uh, I'm going to pay three. Yes. Three mana, and I'm going to cast Sam. Royal Tender. Hi, Sam. Hi, so Sam. Sam is a 2 4, and at the beginning of combat my turn, I create a food token. Uh, activate abilities of food tokens I control costs one less to activate. And yeah, that's what it is. We'll do. Master Frodo. <laughs> I'm gonna go to combat, which means I get a food token. It's Scry Baby's food token, which you get from Ooh. our Patreon when you sign up, you get tokens and other cool rewards. Um, work nice way. I won't block. Mm, yes, I've held up this mana for no reason. <laughs> you have a two. I'm gonna use a three. You have a lot of mana, and if you kill us, I'm gonna cry because I cannot do anything else, so please don't kill us. I will choose to take three damage. Thank you so take much. Take the damage. I'll <laughs> oh, kill you. <laughs> that is so nice. Um, and because she attacked, I'm going to make another food token. That's two foods. Yes, it is. Well. So we are at two food tokens. I will pass. Okay. Draw for turn. I'm going to play an exotic orchard. Trust Drew. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm going to tap three, mm -hmm. tap four. I'm going to cast my commander, Galadriel, the Elven Queen. Nice. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tap two. Yeah. I'm going to make two green to cast Elvish Warmaster. Ooh. Okay, that's great. Whenever one or more elves enter the battlefield under my control, I create a 1-1 one, one green elf warrior creature token. This ability triggers only one each turn. Uh, I'm just gonna go to my combat since another elf entered the battlefield under my control this turn. Uh, we get to vote for Dominion or Guidance. If Dominion gets more votes, the ring tempts me and I put a 1-1 one, one counter on my ring bearer. If Guidance gets more votes, then the vote is tied and I get to draw a card. Whoa. So I'm going to vote for guidance. Yeah. The ring bearer one. I want you to have a ring bearer okay. and not a card. I would love for the ring to also tempt you. I'm gonna go with the general components. Which is the ring, ring bearer. Ring. <laughs> That's what I wanted. I played a mind trick. Oh uh, man. I'm gonna put my I, ring on I the woes. <laughs> Pathfinder. You don't think so? One card no. versus all the other stuff that it does? I think it's... I think the ring bear ability is kind of... I'm going to put the ring yeah, on the, the ring paradise bear, yeah, this is, I think it's this fine. Is, I'm going to pass the turn. What an upstanding gift. All right, we'll draw. Hmm. All right, I would like to cast my commander. I would like to pay four mana <laughs> and tap out on my turn into the... Yeah, I'll have a response. Oh, interesting. I'm gonna no. I'm gonna cycle the Balrog of Moria. What? Uh, I get to draw a card, and whenever I cycle the Balrog of Moria, I get to make two treasure tokens. Okay. Uh, off of the Balrog of Moria, I'm making two treasures, and I drew a card, and that's it. Okay. And Aragorn resolves. And Aragorn does resolve. Okay. When Aragorn enters, I become the monarch. <gasps> Bing. Um, now you have two votes. 
Yes, now I have two <laughs> votes. So no more democracy. Um, and whenever he attacks up to one target creature, can't block this turn. If I'm the monarch, creatures in general cannot block this turn. But doesn't have haste, just vigilance and lifelink. And then I will play hmm? Evolving oh. Wilds. Oh, that's there like Terramorphic Expanse, but different. Yes, <laughs> different name. <laughs> um, I will just crack it now for the sake of saving time. And I will go and get a plane. Maybe. So, uh, get that planes in play tapped. No attacks. I want the blocker against. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and then I will go to my end step and draw a card because I'm king. I'm going to untap, draw a card for my turn. And I get to play my favorite card from this deck because it has the most intense name in the entire world. To pay seven mana. Ooh, yeah. Seven to play. Subjugate the Hobbits. What is that? <laughs> Gain control of each non-commander creature with mana value three or less. You're so annoying. <laughs> You're so annoying. <laughs> well, also trigger my fiery inscription because this deck is evil. So first things first, that's gonna trigger my inscription. Boop, boop. Any responses to Subjugate the Hobbits? I've got green. <laughs> all, all force pitch. <laughs> you got it. You, thank you. Can I have so the I, Hobbits? Thank you, get. And you know what's crazy? I just feel like I haven't done enough this turn. So uh, I'm gonna actually crack one of these treasures. Uh, and my my good my good friend Sauron says, let's let's do a little more. So I'm gonna cast Legacy Staple of the Anime. Uh, targeting the Balrog of Moria. Mm. Cool. Uh, it's gonna enter the battlefield, and I'm gonna lose life equal to its mana value, which is a, a big ol' seven. So I'm gonna go to 30. And the Balrog Moria does, in fact, have Trample and Haste. Uh, oh, sorry, that also will trigger the Fiery Inscription, making everyone else go to 34. And let's see. I have that? one player who attacked me already this game. You took, so. literally I have a hobby that makes me one food token because you took my other resource. That is, you Festing know what, I will, say, one creature. I will say the Lord of the Rings should also be Lord of the Kings. So I'm actually gonna go try and take that mark. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> from Steve. I'm happy for a good old eight. Go to 26. Um, and with that, I feel like I've maybe done enough this turn, so I'm gonna go to my end step and trigger the monarchy. Yeah. So how are we getting that monarch then? You can attack into my yeah, Tory creatures. <laughs> literally need a board wipe. We need a board wipe. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna play Swamp. Um, I'm gonna tap two and do a Night's Whisper. So Ooh. I'm gonna draw two cards and lose two life. Sounds good. Bring me to a 32. Mm -hmm. I see another land in this game. I'm just green. <laughs> I'm going to go and pay three to cast Mary, Warden of Isengard. Uh, it is a 1 4, and it partners with Pippin. So when Thank this you. enters the battlefield, I'm going to. Uh, or when this enters the battlefield, I could put Pippin into my hand from my library and then shuffle, which sounds like something I'm yeah, going to do. Yeah, it's a free tutor. Um, <laughs> And then whenever one or more artifacts enter the battlefield under my control, I make a 1-1 white soldier creature token with lifelink, and it triggers once each turn. Cool. So we're going to go get our buddy. So your deck has two partners in it. Yeah, it's all the buddies. <laughs> it's all the buddies. So I'm going to put Pippin into my hand, and <laughs> then I'm going to go to combat. Okay. True. Will you? Democracy um, wins. You know, Sam has done a lot, I think, for the Lord of the Ring franchise, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let him boot me. I go to 28. You want? Thank you. See a little soldier. soldier I boy. am now the monarch. Um, so I'm going to go to my end step. I have three food tokens. Mm -hmm. I have a human. I got Mary. Even in my hand. I'm going to draw the card for being a monarch. And then I have to discard one, which is going to be a lot. And pass. I do think it's kind of cute that the Hobbit deck is like the best at working together. Yeah, they're little buddies. They're little buddies. They come together. Yeah. Until they get subject. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. My they're favorite magic card. <laughs> I'm going to play a Thornwood Falls tap and gain a life. Whoa. Yeah. Tori on the throne. Yeah. I'm going to tap three to green and a blue. 
for a Merc Wood Trapper. Yeah. Ooh. Whenever a player attacks me, target mm. attacking creature gets minus two minus O until end of turn. Whenever oh, a player attacks, a player, that's also me, I'm a player. Uh, if they player. aren't attacking you, that player, why would I attack myself, chooses an attacking creature and it gets plus two plus O until end of turn. Oh, that's actually really cool. Yeah. I'm gonna go to combat. This is going to trigger Galadriel, because I have Will of the Council since an elf entered. Uh, so we're gonna vote. I'm going to vote for Guidance. Is, it, is that the draw a card one? Yes. I want you to draw a card. Cool. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna vote for the ring bearer one. I'll let you draw a card. Perfect. Aw, oh, man. Um, Democracy. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Democracy is the antithesis of evil. Oh. Um, so I'm gonna draw a card. Um, then I'm going to go to combat. Well, yeah, and, well I, I'm, I'm going to declare attackers. Ah, yes. Excuse me, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to attack, and I guess I get to do this since I'm a player. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give plus two plus O oh to Galadriel, so she is a six. No. I hope I don't regret this. I'm going to attack oh, Galadriel. Yeah. Yeah. For six with my Galadriel. Yeah, I will take six, I guess. And I'll become the monarch. All these my queen is fighting the king. each other when there's one real enemy. And at the end step, I draw a card. You were working together to draw cards against people. Yeah. That's. You like some kind of fellowship. The true. <laughs> <laughs> Sauron would say it just like that. Too. Hey guys, it's me, Sauron. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Still in puberty. You like my eye? <laughs> I have an astigmatism. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> what if that's just the whole plot? It's the, it's like, I can't the see design. anything. It's like looking all over the place. <laughs> what are you doing? Monster. It's, it's tough. I'm trying to figure it out because I'm battling evil. Um, okay. I will attack Ian with Aragorn, King of Gondor. I'm gonna get a trigger from the Mirkwood Tapper, giving it plus two, plus O, and up to one creature can't block this turn, and I'm gonna pick Harsh Mentor. Okay, cool. So the only one that can block is my Elvish Warmaster, which is the one I was gonna jump block with anyway, so. Sure. Kapow. And I gain six. That's a good amount of life. Did not know it also had life, it's pretty cool. Pretty yeah. busted. Uh, then I will play Court of Fire. Ooh. When it enters a battlefield, nice. I become the monarch. Um, and at the beginning of my upkeep, uh, it deals two damage to any target. If on the monarch, it deals seven damage instead. What? Yeah, for sure. Um, <laughs> for sure it does that. Then, <laughs> I, I, I don't think I'll be the monarch for long though. That was very cool. That was very Thank nice. Thank you. <laughs> I have no idea why you would think that you won't be the monarch for long. That's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna heart of the cards my end step right here. <laughs> I'll go to my end step and draw a card. I'm gonna stay on my end step. Let's see if we hit. Path to exile. Let's go. Source of shares. I'll pass these. Ooh. He's doing the Steve flick. I don't know, man. The Steve flick. <laughs> <laughs> this summer, the Steve. The Steve flick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna drop like my turn. Yo. Okay. I mean, oh, it's a really unexciting card. Uh, I'm gonna play a swamp as my land for the turn. Let's just start things off by going to combat. And uh, Steve, I'm gonna once again attack you with the Balrog of Moria. No blocks. No blocks. Lovely. Taking eight. You're the monarch. Eight. I am now the monarch. Um, and to ascend to his rightful throne, I'm gonna be playing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. For my commander, Sauron, Lord of the Rings. Um, when he enters, or when I cast this spell, uh, amass orcs five, mill five cards, and then return a creature from my graveyard to the battlefield. So I don't have any creatures on, in there right now. That's on cast. That's on cast. Yeah, that is yeah. an uncounterable thing I can do. Uh, it's kind of nasty. We need to I'm, I'm counting on y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm playing my little and food. Food. Okay. I got elves. Bunch of hungry little hobbits. <laughs> I got, I'm cooking with something over here, don't worry. <laughs> I'm gonna start Please. by amassing an army of five orcs. Uh, then I will mill five cards. So we got consider. We got a desolate lighthouse. Uh-oh, I could whiff. A swamp. An inferno titan. There we go. Oh, that's a good one. And a sulfurous springs. 
Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring back an Inferno Titan. Are you sure? It says- For sure. Yeah, oh, it doesn't say up to one, so you yeah. do have to pick oh, one, man. so, Jeez. okay. Sorry about that, everyone. Uh, I'm gonna bring back this Inferno Titan. I love this deck. Who this made deck's great. these decks? <laughs> Who said, let's give you a bunch Get. of cute little hobbits with food, and then an actual, Get. like, monstrous <laughs> <laughs> Like, that's not okay. I am the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> okay, <laughs> uh, when Inferno Titan ETBs, I can deal one damage, oh, three damage divided as I choose among one, two, or three targets. Hang on, so you yeah, one. I think I'm gonna ping the human soldier right over there. Great. And then Tori and Steve each for one. Boop, boop. Um, I have mm -hmm. three mana left over. Mm -hmm. um, and that's it, I, I can't do anything else. So I'm gonna move to my end step, and because I haven't granted the Lord of the Rings, I will draw a card. Pow. All right. So I'm going to play a Murmuring Boss. Book. Thank you. <laughs> um, no, because I'm going to reveal a Treefold Whoa, card. Whoa, cool. Um, and then I'm going to cast it, because I already revealed it. Pretty weird. What yeah. trivia do? I will tell you in a second when I make sure I do my mana correctly <laughs> for other things. So when Treebeard enters the battlefield, I'm gonna make two food tokens. And then whenever I gain life, I put that many plus one plus one counters on a target halfling or a tree bolt. I don't have anything. Oh, wait, to that's help so cute. Me. Yeah. Don't leave it alone. I'm not doing nothing. I'm gonna play a little uh <laughs> I have a thing is just gonna ruin our day. I hope so. So Pippin, we all saw earlier. <laughs> It is a 2-2, you can tap it, pay one and tap it to make a food token, and I can sacrifice more foods, and other creatures I control get plus three, plus three, plus three, mm -hmm. and gain haste until end of turn. Um, you are terrifying. I just have like 30 power on the board, don't worry about it. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna go to combat. I'm not gonna play anything, but I'm gonna make a food token, and then a 1-1 one -one off of Mary. So Sam gives me the food, I make the 1-1 one -one off of Artifact entering. Actually, I, I should have. would have gone off of Treebeard, I believe. Yeah, right? so I should actually have. Wait, no. Uh, no. This ability triggers only once turn. Yeah, so I should have two or just one? One. Still one from real yeah, yeah. Okay, so I still, I just have a human. It's fine. Yeah. Just a human. Just a little guy. Um, so I'm not gonna swing at you. I don't wanna. You have the monarch thing and you have 20,000 mm -hmm. creatures. Unless you like, let me just get my keep four through. That sounds good. That is something I could do. Yeah, but you're not going to. It's so a trap! I'm it's gonna, a trick! <laughs> I'm gonna pass the turn and we'll uh, pray that Tori has something cool. Got something cool, All right? I'm gonna play a Rejuvenating Springs. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna play Realm Seekers. Realm Seekers enters the battlefield with X11 one, one counters on it, where X is the total number of cards in all players' hands. How Dude, many cards does everyone have in their hands? deflation of Steve's body right there. I thought you were supposed to save us. I'm saving myself. Yeah. On the elves, remember? They backed out of that war. They're like, save us. <laughs> One, two, three, Elves four. notoriously the Switzerland of Middle Earth. All right, so, so four five. plus five is nine. Five. Fourteen. Yep. Seven. Twenty-one. 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 Twenty-seven. <laughs> Brains. It's okay, it's 27. Plus nine, plus 10. <laughs> so I have a 21, 21 elf. This is also going to oh, trigger. <laughs> so I get to go to combat and I had an elf enter the battlefield this turn. So we get to vote everyone. Oh um, yes, democracy. Yes, I'm going to vote for. I'm gonna vote for Dominion. Hey, I thought that would be good too, but I kind of want you to draw a card yeah? actually. Okay. Yeah. Is that better? Okay. Oh, I want you to draw a card. That's just uh, me. drawing a card. Uh, ring bearer. What did you want? Uh, <laughs> you I wanted to be the ring bearer. I'll let you bring the ring bearer. Okay. Bring. Can I have my ring back, please? Thanks. <laughs> one ring. I'm going to choose Realm Seekers as my ring bearer. Uh, my ring bearer gets plus one, plus one on my, so, or a plus one, plus one counter. I don't know about you, but Realm Seekers is feeling 22. So it's got, it's a 22, 22, and it can't be blocked by creatures with greater power than 22, oh, 22. Oh, wow. my 23 power <laughs> creatures. <Yeah. laughs> 
Um, but yeah, now I have a thick ass realm seeker. So I can save myself a little bit of okay. blunt force trauma here. Uh, and I'm gonna pass the turn to Steve and hope that Steve Steve, does please save us. You have yeah, a yeah. white mana and you do nothing. I've been... I thought this was here. You know, I thought there the was a lot there. of blue cards in the blue and green deck. There's not. Yeah, I've been fighting the good fight this whole time. I was like, there's gotta oh, be rough. a counter spell. It's rough. I had a big scary no, blue no, card. No, for it's a blue card that was awful. I said for Tori. <laughs> No, I'm happy. I got to subjugate the hobbits. <laughs> <laughs> subjugate oh, I this. My upkeep uh, in my upkeep, I am not the monarch, but this will deal two damage to something. Yes, what would you like to do two damage to something? Hmm. I'm thinking that at this point, maybe it does make a difference if I kill any of Ian's little, little creatures. So I might just deal two damage to Tori out of spite for not saving us. But, um, what would you like me but to I'll do? Kill, uh, I'll kill the harsh mentor. Okay, you can have your harsh mentor. In the death. Right. So, yeah. uh, then I draw. Yeah. Yeah. Pick four. You save us from your rampant yeah. growth. Right. <laughs> save us from We're all over here talking about how I'm the bad guy, but Steve's over here like, I'm gonna shoot Tori in the face. <laughs> yes. No. Oh, Camera? <laughs> oh. This is. Does anyone have or any interaction? Buddy. That's uh, not yet. I'm so being honest with you, I drew so many lands, and oh, now cool. all okay. I have are Epic. big thingies, but no no more boys. My theme is just like fucking Pokemon go to the bowls, so I have nothing. It's so annoying. <laughs> Bringing it back. All right, I'm going to play Boromir, Gondor's Hope. Woo! I'm going to hope he does something. That, uh, when he enters the battlefield or attacks, I look at the top six cards of my library. Six for the fellowship, I guess. I don't know. That's not the right number. Six human um, rings. I reveal a human or artifact from among them and put it into my hand. Then the rest go on the bottom in random order. That's actually pretty good. Yeah. Um, oh, I actually hit. I thought I whiffed. I'll reveal a uh, Lawson Arch Captain. When that or another human enters the battlefield under my control, I tap target creature and opponent controls. At the beginning of my upkeep, I make a 1 1 soldier. That costs four mana. Well, uh, just to try and save my own ass, even though it won't matter. Um, That's what we're all doing. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Actually, well, how much life you got? Steve. I one. need to gain life. Or Tori, can I? Can yes. What do you? Okay. Need to do? Well, no. Have two power. Well, no. That's that's up to one target, right? Or it's when it has to. Oh, well, all right, Tori, damage? can I gain two life by attacking you? Yes. Thank you. Uh, combat. I would like to attack Tori. This can't block. I'd like to attack you for two. I will block. I'm just kidding. I'll do. All right. I would like to gain two life. Sick. I'll play a prairie stream, and then I will play a fiend hunter, which Yo, basic, okay. which basically has to kill the inferno titan, because if it killed anything else, it would just <laughs> yeah, die. Yeah, that's super fair. So I would like to uh, target the inferno titan with my fiend hunter, exiling it until the fiend hunter inevitably gets killed. Mm. So I. Uh... As much as I would like to meme right now, I am just gonna let it get exiled. Cool. Goodbye, Inferno Titan. I'll miss you, buddy. You did um, hunt the fiend. Well, I'm not, I'm not the monarch. Go ahead. Oh, who is? Oh, you're the monarch. Ah, yes. Mm. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying my best with the happenings. I will play Field of Ruin. I don't know why I said that. Is there a hobbit hole on that field of ruin? <laughs> yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve mana available. That's cool. Lovely. You wouldn't use all your mana at once. I would not, but I will use probably ten of it. Oh! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna cast. Uh, Monstrosity of the Lake. When it enters the battlefield, I can pay five. If I do, tap all creatures my opponents control and put a stun counter on each of those creatures, which means they will not untap on their opponents next untap. So, uh, I'm going to Ian, I swear to God. pay five mana to tap all of your creatures and they will not untap. It's okay, we're gonna come together with the power of friendship. Yep. Sauron. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go to combat, and I don't really feel like killing anybody. Definitely gonna put, you know, the Balrog has only attacked Steve, and I feel like canonically we'll keep that the same. Yeah, it checks out. Balrog is gonna go at Steve. My army of orcs uh, in 
the Savvy Hunter are going to go at Lua. Mm -hmm. And Tori, you are going to receive the Wrath of Sauron, Lord of the Rings. It will be minus two, so seven. That's OK. So Lua's going to take eight, going down to 18. Mm -hmm. uh, Tori's going to take seven, going down to 25. And Steve is going to take going to 17. Steve versus the Balrog. Steve versus the Balrog. I forget. I'm going to and I'll pass the turn. Okay, I'll untap everything but my creatures. Uh, isolated Chapel. All right, I'm going to. Um, so I'm gonna save Steve. All right, Balrog Dead. will be exiled, and because it's exiled instead of dies, the death trigger will not go off. But I will go get a basic mountain. Question mark. <laughs> he said with confidence. Yeah, I'll get a mountain. Okay, I'm gonna go to combat. Uh, can't do anything at the moment, but I am going to trigger uh, Sam or Everton. We get a food token. We get a food token because we get a food token. Mm -hmm. We get another soldier, and they're gonna come hang out. Yeah. All right. So now, because I can't swing with anything or do what I plan to do, I'm gonna still cast a card because I deserve it. I'm gonna pay two plus one, two, three. Four and seven. Four. The boy. The banquet guest. Yeah. So, uh, so it'll be seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So, it's affinity for food. One less for each uh, food that I control, mm -hmm. and it enters the battlefield with twice X plus one plus one counters on it. So, what did I say? Seven. You said eleven. Eleven. Okay. I'm saying it's a twenty-two, twenty-two. There's a lot Let's of those go. on this board. A lot of, a lot of <laughs> Do you see why I'm upset? He was tapped because I really wanted to sack my foods, give him haste, and maybe try to beat up Ian a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So, that been sick. But maybe you'll leave him alone because I don't. I mean, want he's got him. an indestructible. I, I don't think I can remove him. Yep. It does. It does. It does. If I sack her, I yeah, you can pay tap. two and sack a food. Yeah. But I can't. Oh, okay. Guy him. Can't pay two right now. <laughs> so well, it's not a yeah. we'll ignore that part. Um, <laughs> I'm going to then pass the turn. Island. I'm gonna tap one, two, three, four, five, six. I can't tap, wait. I can tap the signet. I forgot yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, oh no. It's not a creature. All right, uh, I'm gonna tap a signet. Cool, seven mana. I'm gonna play the horny queen, horny queen. Oh, and <laughs> Very different cards, I would argue. Flying death touch, when it enters the battlefield, I create four one one green insect creature tokens with flying and death touch. Oh my god, that's your favorite. Okay, Weevil Underwood. You always get little. My, <laughs> my bad cards. There are no bad <laughs> cards in my Jody. deck. One, two, three, four. Bugs galore! My favorite episode of Scribe Babies was with Tori through Zodia in the water. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> to the shrunkle. Character shrugle. development. Mm -hmm. yes. Well, I got a lot of bugs. I got a lot of little insects, but I can block some of Ian's scary shit. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, and then that's it. That's all I can do. You okay. can block myself. No, uh, no elves on my turn. Uh, upkeep. My creatures don't untap, but I have a Court of Iron trigger. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, basically, don't think. Uh, <laughs> One insect. I mean, anything is better than us taking off the I'm air. probably gonna kill it. He's one mana up. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm probably gonna kill the one that can give everything trample. Um, well darn. All right. Two there. Tori, you can have your thing back. Yay! <laughs> so Draw for turn. Let's be honest. Kind of scary. I have me saw around here and killed by a fucking bug. Steve needs to get <laughs> He's allergic to bees. Sauron's one weakness is bees. He's gonna love my every pen. His glasses. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta trans translate into Sauron language. Or <laughs> Sauron versus uh -huh. one bee. Who wins? The <laughs> okay. to bee movie. I will play Increasing Devotion, and I will make oh. a 5 one, one human. We're all hanging out for our yeah. frickin' life. Yeah, right? I am for sure. hiding behind my bees. One, one two, think and be, think and be. Um, we'll just be passing the turn. You will be passing the turn? More fun, part, part of the eyes of evil. Is now I want the Horny Queen off the yeah, yeah. <laughs> Obligatory pun. I'll uh, draw for my turn. Whoa, what does that do? <laughs> You're not gonna be happy with me. Get the raid. Chain for away. two mana, <laughs> I'm gonna play Cavern Horde Dragon because uh, an opponent I control 
uh, an opponent controls seven artifacts. Mm -hmm. So for two red, I play a flying trample six six. Mm -hmm. hmm. He's staring down a barrel at these fucking bees. <laughs> <laughs> I really feel like I'm staring down a barrel at these bees. Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, I'm gonna move to combat, and I'm gonna swing the Cavern Horde Dragon at yep. one International Star, Lua Stardust, yep. and Sauron Lord of the Rings will attack Steve. Nothing for Tori? Must be all Tori's got bees! I, I can't beat bees! Death, death, death touch bees. Sauron has bees. Okay. Sorry, Sorry. 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 has trample on top like, of everything so else it does on that card. Yeah. Fuck. And it, uh, the thing that's never come up is when also an opponent's commander dies, I can also have the ring tempt me. Like, just on top so of So they that. literally like, how we make the most evil card? And then they just, <laughs> yeah, they, they yeah. did that. So a couple things are going to happen. Uh, the dragon is going to hit Lua for six, going down to 12. Yep. The <laughs> Sauron is. is going to hit Steve for nine trample and damage. Uh, going down to eight and nine Sauron damage. Oh, and I have part of the card. Part of the card, yes. Um, and there is a trigger from the Cavern Horde Dragons. This is whenever it deals combat damage to a player, I create a treasure token for each artifact that player controls. I'm so sorry. Uh, Lua has seven artifacts, mm -hmm. so I'm going to make seven more treasures than the one I already had and go up to eight. Um, then I'm going to use all of my mana to cast the Summons of Saruman. So it's all eight here, nine, 10, 11, 14 mana. So X is equal to 12. Uh, I can amass Orcs X, mill X cards, and then I can cast an instant or sorcery with mana value X or less from among them without paying its mana value. And X is what? 11 or 12? X is 12. Okay. Is that okay with everybody? What I wouldn't give to have a piece of interaction right now. <laughs> so my orc army goes to 19 power. Uh, I'm going to mill 12 cards. Still dies to a B. But if I whiff on instances or sorceries, I can't cast anything. So we got Grima, Saruman's Footman, Forbidden Alchemy, I guess instance sorcery, Goblin Dark Dwellers, Gutter Snipe. Land, Arcane Signet, okay, so that's 6 out of 12, Voting Ruins, Voracious Spell Beast, Sulphur Springs, I've only got one target so far, uh, Treason of Isengard, interesting. I'm gonna pull these ones out. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm looking. 1, one 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 is Hostage Taker, jeez, and 12 is Languish. Oh! Okay. Oh! Oh! Do I want to cast Languish? Hmm. Yeah, that seems really, really good. Here. Yeah, that seems like but almost you unbeatable also, here. You could also cast, cast Forbidden Alchemy, I could. Forbidden Alchemy. Uh, I think I will cast Languish uh, without paying its mana value. So all creatures get minus four, minus four. Uh, because I've cast an in instant or sorcery spell, fiery. Oh, that's actually two triggers of that. So fiery description will trigger twice because of summons of Saruman and languish. So everyone will lose four. Steve will go down to four. Where he goes to twenty-one, and Lua goes to eight. My insects die. So everything is minus four. Or minus yeah. four. Savvy hunter will die. That's just till end of turn. Yes. Cool. You're getting your fire type druid. Ooh, yeah. boy do I. There's some one toughness creatures that may have survived the language. That's yeah, that's good. insane. Okay. I sound like an NPC or a little thing. <laughs> Isn't it a two? That's a zero five? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, so because Steve's Fiend Hunter dies, my Inferno Titan comes back and I get three damage to divide as I choose. Um, so the only ones to survive that can be killed by this are one and two, I believe. So I'll put one damage there, one damage there, and I'm gonna put Steve to lightning bolt range. Okay. Lua, there's a ward trigger on your creature. Oh, yeah. oh no! It has ward two. I it can't got read countered. Steve, okay, well Steve goes to lightning bolt range for yes. knowing his magic I interactions. Be... <laughs> the goes back to the man's <laughs> <own>. <laughs> I'm so dead. 
<laughs> it doesn't matter. If Inferno Titan literally attacks, Steve dies. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Fine. Okay. There's no like mana crypts, like what? Yeah. Or anything. You there's need to worry f- about there's that. There's an Inferno Titan. Need, no, it's not real. <laughs> I'm gonna move to my end step and draw a card from being the Monarch. Ooh, you make that unblockable. This? Yeah. My thing is gone that made it big and scary, but no. Oh, it's still big and scary. It's a point. No, it would have it has trampled. And, yeah, I, yeah, it has trampled. It's okay. You'll, you'll draw. I'm I'm manifesting your top card. It's going to be the best yeah. warp wave ever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Exodia too. On That's a cool card. Right? Yeah. I'm going to pay two to sack a free token and gain three life, which means I'll go to 11. Yes, and I'll put that many plus one plus one counters on this target. This target halfling, big words. Um, so it's gonna go from a 20, because that was just an end turn, right? Yep. So it's just 22, and then I go- That's 25. Very scary. Yeah, it's like, okay. I'm at 28, that's very scary. <laughs> yeah, what if you just weren't at 28, though? That's yeah. cool. Okay. <laughs> Do it. All right, we're in tongue chill. <laughs> we're in combat. It's the only some, power I have. Right some now. tricks there. Oh, what tricks have you? No, I said unless you have tricks. Oh, I have not tricks. Okay. I then have used my tricks. We're gonna send this big trampoly uh, creature that cannot be blocked because I'm gonna use my. I'm gonna send this big trampoly 25, 25 at you, and I'm going to tap my mana, which I did mm-hmm. uh, for this rose passage. So that is an unblockable 25 power creature. It is. It's actually banquet guests, so it's like a whole party, but... They are an unblockable 25 power creatures. With trample. With trample. So it doesn't matter, but you know, just the thing. They are, they are. Okay, um, I'm gonna go to three. Okay. Yeah. And I have a tree. You're and also, you a also have a tree, and you become the monarch. I am the monarch. This is the best day. Okay. Am I even Wheelie the Fwet anymore? <laughs> it's a I'm just a wheel guy. <laughs> Me and Tori with like twenty something, twenty somethings, doing our best. Yeah. Um, what that is anymore? it for me. Yeah, I was gonna say, Steve, maybe you and I can have a little chat. Yeah. Oh no. No. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Dang. I'm um, <laughs> tapping my twenty-two, twenty-two. <laughs> Yeah. Yay. Tori's deck has a close I hope deck. it has something in it. it. Oh no. I don't like the way Tori said that. She misses her bees. I miss my bees so much. Tori, keeper of the bees. Keeper of the bees. Yeah. I'm gonna tap I mean, into getting three, out of hand. four. He's just a little No, he's not. Uh, a I'm gonna cast Radagas. Oh. Wizard of the Wilds. He's so cute. He's so cute. This is the wizard. <laughs> on tap two for a lightning reads. Oh! Mm, I'm gonna put it on my realm seeker. No. Right, I guess. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to attack Ian with my 22. 22 ring bearer elf scout. A ring bear? Okay, Steve, hear me out here. No. You don't, even, you don't even have to trust me. What if I block with Inferno Titan right now? If you no. block, I block with Inferno Titan still, right now. But you have something that's still bigger than Inferno Titan. Isn't that the problem? Yeah, and you have Tramplers, and you have a Flyer that, you yeah, know, no. I won't attack you on my turn, and I'll block with this Inferno Titan right now. Oh, that's I want to live. deals instead of one bad one. Don't be tempted, <laughs> Herghorn. <laughs> I mean, this is a, uh, you do. Mm. I just spared your life. Uh, that is true. But okay. there isn't much to spare. Listen, um, light will prevail. That's uh-huh. all I have to say. And I'll still try and block with this Inferno Titan. Bye, Inferno Titan! He is dead. We'll see what happens. Yay! I passed turn. Up he does so much stuff, too. Yeah. Trigger Court of Ire. Court of Ire. I will, uh, Tori takes two. What the fuck? Tori goes to 19. You're the highest light. I'll run. <laughs> Actually, all of us combined do not have your life total. <laughs> I mean, I'm as good as dead no matter what next turn. Um, I don't like the way you have this made. Lawson Arch Captain. Lost an arch oh. captain. Yeah. When it enters the battlefield or another human enters the battlefield under my control, I tap target creature and opponent controls. I will target the 1919 orc army. Uh oh, it's Eowyn. She's here. Um, <laughs> 
I will prevail. Main characters always win. Why well, she coming from the sky? This, you have to do <laughs> she, this thief. Yeah. Uh oh, like, oh, she's here. Okay. Um, when she enters, <laughs> trigger. Yeah. <laughs> I will tap. Oh, I'm getting to that part. <laughs> you don't have to do tap. this, Steve. You don't have the to do this. The lake. <laughs> The Who is gonna thing. have a trampler that is twenty something power? Oh. This is what Sauron said to Isildur <laughs> at the bat in the battle. You don't have I to know. Do this. I will go to combat. <laughs> <laughs> at the beginning of combat, on my turn, if another human, lost an arch captain, entered the battlefield under my control this turn, I create two. Count them: two, 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 trample and haste human knights. Mm. This is me being the eye of Sauron. <laughs> <laughs> I will go to combat. I'm saving the day, even though I know that Steve, I'm dead next Steve, time. come on, man. <laughs> I can help you. I can help you. Yeah. You can help me? I can help you. How? Oh. By not killing you and getting rid of that. Yeah, but that's still nice. That's bad. There's more things. Yeah, but that's not a block hole. We tried it's not so hard hole. and got so far. Yeah, but like... <laughs> uh, no. All right, yeah, no, I'll, I'll kill Sauron. Uh, something, something, insert shrieky noise. Okay. <laughs> I have died, as is probably right. All right, now bite off Steve's finger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it makes sense. <laughs> that works so canon. It's really good. Yeah, I did it. I defeated evil. <laughs> <laughs> Go! Prepare to be defeated by hobbits. <laughs> I hope I do not die. Alright, I'm gonna untap my monster. My monster made a nice halfling party. This is how we're untapping my lands for some reason. Just like that. Drawing a card. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this access tunnel because I'm scared of both of you and pay three and tap it to. Uh, make it so my little tree guy can't be blocked this turn. And then I'm going to just use my remaining mana here, mm -hmm. sack of food. I'm gonna gain three life. Go to 14. And put that many plus one plus one counters on my tree folk. Thank you. With this, I would like to go to combat yeah. and swing the big one at Tori. I am big dead. And then my three at Pete, who has exactly three. I cannot three. Yep. All right. The hobbits save the day. The hobbits save the day, which is odd because they're attacking their friends. <laughs> and that's <laughs> Once not... Once again, Sam and Frodo murder their friends. Yeah, <laughs> very Just like the hobbits. That's exactly how it happened. <laughs> Um, so this game was very scary. Yeah. You got scary, you got very scary. Mm -hmm. All the humans were doing stuff and getting a little, they were getting pretty scary. They weren't like this scary, yeah, but they were pretty scary. You could have um, probably won next turn, right? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> it's but possible. There was definitely like a couple cards that popped off and it was really cool to see all the different art that they yeah. put into this mm -hmm. because I think it makes it more immersive and mm -hmm. special. So I really enjoyed playing this. Uh, what did, well, I guess I can go first real quick. Uh, in my hand, there was a Chromatic Lantern, uh, this card, which I had fun playing before and yeah. I was hoping to do more with it. Um, a Shire Shirt, which I was going to plan to do something with Steve. Very scary. And then these two good food cards. They weren't going to do anything at the moment for me, but it was something I was holding on to. My next card, I know you drew a but the next one would have been a Mortify. Nice. So that could have potentially got rid of something as well. Um, but. Uh, I had a rampant growth in hand and a model of unity, which would have been better with all of the voting. However, mm -hmm. did not have my commander out and didn't draw anyone else. My top card was another land. Yeah, you got yeah. flooded pretty bad there. Yeah, That's but it's I, all good. We didn't see too many like of the blue cards like you were saying earlier. Mm -hmm. You're playing a lot of yeah. It was just like a mono green deck, yeah. but uh, I probably should have just shuffled no, by using the rampant growth to get something else. Even then you had a lot of like really powerful elves and also yeah. that hornet was really cool. Like, hornet yeah. queen. Yeah. A baddie for real. Really I, slapped. I feel like the Gandalf half of the deck, which is like the ultimate commander you get mm -hmm. in there, is probably the better one from like I've seen a bunch of people play this deck now and I feel like it just like does sillier things. For oh sure. for sure. Yeah. Very cool. Uh yeah, I had Visions of Glory and Combat Celebrant. I actually had Rogue's Passage hiding in my hand too, but I had nothing Ooh. like big enough to sneak in. Um, I think the game would have had to go 
a little longer and there would have had to been less rogue passages in play um, for me to survive. Um, I think I actually would have come close, or actually maybe I would have been able to kill you a little next turn. I believe it, But, yeah. uh, <laughs> you know, in order for me to continue the game, you would have had to kill Tori, not me, and yeah. then, but, uh, You're yeah. very convincing too, so there was a chance that might have happened. What was your top card, though? I was probably... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah Sulfur nice. Falls. Yeah. Good old Sulfur Falls. Hey, that brings you up to four. <laughs> yeah. Before you were, uh, perished, what, yeah. was, what was in your so hand? So had I gotten to live, my top card would have been an island, which I would have played, give me more mana. But uh, in my hand, let's, let's do the unimportant stuff first. I had Boon the Wishgiver, which is a draw four and I can cycle for one. Uh, Command Sphere, classic. Scourge of the Throne, which is in my hand since the opening, but it was like, I was already doing attacking stuff. There was a while there where I had the highest life total, so I didn't really want to like be popping off with the dragon. Uh, Moria Scavenger is a really cool thing that like puts stuff in my graveyard for Sauron. And then I had Living Death, which is what I definitely would have jammed first thing on my turn, uh, because it would have triggered the inscription, put Steve to one, I could have Inferno Titan come in, deal direct damage to people, and then like my board got kind of crazy from there. Yeah, so. that's pretty <laughs> yeah. good. Yeah, this, these decks are like, I know there's a lot of people that are like, uh, pre-cons aren't that good, and that they have to like mm -hmm. jam upgrades into them, yeah. but I feel like these are really playable, and they yes. go together really well as a set. Yeah. I think yeah. this is definitely like yeah. between this and the Warhammer decks, the most fun I've had just like playing pre cons right out of right the box. Right out of the box. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're really fun yeah. and I really enjoyed them. But thank you both so much for coming here to play with us today. If you want to check out Ian or Steve on their social media, we're going to link them down below in the description box. Sweet. Yep. And if you like episodes like this and want to see more, be sure to check out our Patreon where we have tiers as low as one US dollar. It's one of the best ways to support the show. Yep. And if you enjoy merch, and, and cool stuff. You can get a shirt like Ian's wearing uh, on our bonfire store where we make cool shirts like that. Corey is an amazing artist. We also have tons of other designs available and that's another way you can come help out the show. Uh, that is it for now. Thank you both so much for playing with us and we'll see y'all next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Scry Babies. Tori and I would like to thank patrons like you see on the screen right now for making episodes like this possible. We would like to give a special shout out to our tier six patrons, Uncle Butts, Choo Choo Charles, and Carr, as well as our tier five patrons, Old Panda, Sid October, Ahad, Flower Faye, Killian, and Ravash. Thank you so much for being here with us. If you'd like to check out our Patreon and show some support, we have tiers as low as $1, as well as a variety of other tiers that include perks like early access to episodes, Discord, bi-weekly game nights, alongside physical rewards such as tokens, stickers, and more. 